Hello, this is Callistus from Tuai Digital Academy. Welcome to my YouTube channel. And today I'm going to continue your journey on becoming a graphic designer. In our previous tutorial, we did design the GT Bank logo, very simple logo that anyone who is an absolute beginner can follow up and design this logo. Uh, if you've not watched it, please, it's a really starting point for everyone, anybody can easily follow. The tutorial is very simple to follow and the basic tools that were used here are just three or four, not much. So in today's lesson, which is lesson two, is this uh, Sterling Bank, uh, the knowledge you've gotten when you were designing the GT Bank logo can be used here when you want to design this Sterling Bank. Then, uh, if you haven't subscribed to this channel, please do also hit the notification bell and give us a thumbs up if you like this tutorial. So I'm going to go into the lesson two right now. So the first thing you do is to create a new document. You have to name it. Uh, this one is going to be Sterling Bank. Sterling Bank. Sterling Bank. Yeah. Logo. Let's like logo. Right then, I don't even matter about the precepts. Then, the primary color mode I'm going to choose the ROGB because I'm not going to print out the paper size. I'm okay with A4 width, uh, with the unit of the paper measurement can be in inches. You can choose whatever works for you, but I prefer inches and uh, the rotation. I think. My goal with the landscape, then my resolution at 300 is perfect. So I hit OK. Then we have a new uh, canvas for us to start drawing. So I'll double click here, the rectangle tool. And then next day I'm going to import. Yeah, if you don't know how to import, you can. Refer, I refer you to my previous tutorial for you to uh, know that. Uh, so I'm going to design this as our lesson two. Yeah, it's a kind of bigger. So when you want to resize, always resize from here. You can resize from here, all right. Then the next thing, okay, let me also import this one as well. Yeah, this will go here. It's kind of good for the adverts. Yeah, these are lesson two. So that you know it's lesson two in time I zoom in. Yeah, this one we're designing. So here you notice we are going to be dealing with circle. Uh, so I click on the ellipse tool. Or I could just press X7. Click on Ellis too. So I take it to my. Yeah, I have it here. So I hold down my control key, my keyboard, so that I will have a perfect circle. After that, I'll press P so that my work will go to the middle. Um, I can use my navigation key up my vision key to take my circle up a bit now my ellipse tool which i'm using to create a circle is deactivated so i'm going to draw the small eye circle i mean this one so from here i hold my control key down i think uh, this will do so i just arrange it properly you can do this pretty easy all right the next thing is for me to add the colors 
Okay, this is kind of bit Osblood red, or you can just copy from here. No? Copy from there. Let me click on my pick to copy it. So I select this one and I drop. All right. So the inner circle should be white. So you have it. Remember this black band or outline. We don't want it to be there. So how do we remove it? If you forgot in the previous tutorial, remember when you click on it, you go to this colors uh, right click. Remember, right click. When you right click, it goes. See? Oh, I didn't click again. Okay. It's gone. Okay. All right. Yeah, I can click on my zoom to page height. So everything will come back. Now you see, I selected everything when I did that, and all the outline are gone. Uh, my thing, I don't intend to make this video long, so I'm going to be kind of fast. So I have uh, grouped them. I've selected them, so I'm going to group them actually. So I'll cl click on group, Ctrl G. Could have done that, but I just prefer clicking. Then the next thing is for me to add the sterling letters, the sterling word, the word sterling. So I'll take my test tool, and click where I want. So quickly I'll type in sterling. Yeah, sterling. Sterling. Okay. Hit enter so I can type. One customer bank. All right. So we have the right top. What we're going to add to our world, but it's still not the same. So I'm going to teach you kind of something new now. My I want to break these tests apart. So it will be broken up. So control K will do that. If you press control K, you hold control key down, then you tap the K button to break them apart so that you can work on them. Again, when you are trying to resize stuff on uh, objects on corridor, I recommend you doing it from the corners. Corner, corners. Yeah, no good. Yeah, good, correct. Yeah, your insights will leave corners. All right. So, I think uh, we're looking good. We're looking pretty good. So, this one has to be big. Really big. Really big. Yeah, pretty big. All right. So, Um, I could just end the tutorial here, but let's try and make it really looking similar to this so that somebody seeing it will say, oh, yeah, this guy's trying to create this. You know, it's a beginner class. You're just supposed to master this. I'm not even supposed to be teaching this in my lesson too. In my uh, facility where I teach, I have a computer an ICT training center where I train to IT digital academy where I, t I don't teach this because once I've taught you the GT Bank logo, the this Sterling Bank logo is essentially the same thing. Just instead of the squares, you're not using these circles. So you're going to use what I've taught you in GT Bank to create this. So uh, we're trying to select. Uh, the okay, I think it's hidden here. I can't really find it. Uh, okay, that's all I had in mind. Oh, 
I was going to record this video, you know, test. So, so for tests, look for something that can actually something conceive that can go with it. Quickly look at. No, that seems to. Can't use that either. Oh. All right. Okay, let's manage this. I was telling you, don't sue me. I ain't got money, so don't sue me, please. That isn't the teach. Hmm? I love the bank. I'm a fan, I'm a fan of Sterling Bank. I love them. All right. I'm going to pick this color. I might use it here. Then this one, I swear. So, what do you think? Oh, yay! Yeah, Sterling Bank logo. Yeah, that's what I thought. So, I'm going to uh, try to align it to this. Okay, I'm still trying to align it properly. If you notice this cycle I've created here, it's kind of uh, too close to the letters. So, working on that part now. And after that, I will have to centralize it on the page. Uh, Okay, just press P. Then I'm going to ungroup there now so that I'll be able to move the circle up a bit. Alright, that's one part. Then gradually. Yeah. So that's all we have to do. So our next in our next tutorial, we are going to be looking at this uh, BBC News logo. Uh, you are going to learn how to uh, properly align your object in a perfect order, just as you look at the BBC, the space in between them. So you have to learn that. Then after that, as the series we are going to do, we we'll do the fourth lesson, we have the fifth lesson. I bet you if you can just follow up on all these tutorials in no time, you will be good at using code because every lesson is carefully planned so that as a beginner, you'll be able to build your graphic design skills, especially using core draw gradually. In each tutorial, be learning new tricks, new uh, usage of tools, and as you move on, you get to learn more. I hope you like the tutorial, and I hope to see your comments, thumbs up, subscribe. Don't forget to use the notification bell. Uh, thank you for watching. Do have a nice day.